come un albero fiorito che in piazza dei signori è pronto e pronte ma le radici forse nuove apportano l'arno prima di correre alla voce cantava cianto piazza santa croce e il suo From the beginning up to 1945, the Istituto Agronomico per l'Oltremare, the Overseas Agricultural Institute, was set up in Florence in 1904 by Gino Bartolomei Gioli, an illustrious university professor, agronomist, an expert of tropical environments. The aim was to promote the study of tropical agriculture and to develop agricultural entrepreneurship among Italians who were emigrating at that time to Africa and South America because of the scarcity of work at home. In those days, Florence was an ideal cultural setting for the emergence of this new body because of the wealth of renowned academicians and scholars who lived there, whose expertise was not limited to agriculture and barony, but extended to anthropology languages, geography, and culture. An all-round training was those available in Florence for those contemplating immigration to far-off countries where the culture was different. In the first 20 years, the Institute's principal aim was to provide training to technicians whose task would be to enhance the agriculture of Eritrea, Somalia and Libya and study the natural resources and the growth potential of agriculture there. Its experts made a significant contribution to agricultural experimentation and to improving the farming practices of emigre Italian farmers. In January 1941, the Institute, already renamed the Royal Agricultural Institute for Italian Africa, moved to its present-day promises. Up to then, it had trained 340 agricultural technicians and provided a specialization in tropical agriculture to 190 graduates. The post-war years up to low, 1612, 1962, and the Institute's reorganization. The post-war years marked the onset of sweeping changes to the Institute activity. Its journal, which had been published since 1907, printed an article entitled simply Resumption, in which is outlining the need to continue work in overseas, but within a new relationship framework based on reciprocal cooperation. The Institute channeled its experience through the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs to develop a series of programs for immigrants to Latin America. In 1953, it was placed under the responsibility of the Foreign Ministry to make a substantive contribution to Italian cooperation policies in foreign countries. In 1959, it got its definitive name of Istituto Agronomico per l'Oltremare, for short, IAO. Cooperation initiatives involving the Institute from the 1980s to the present day. Countries where the Institute has set up cooperation projects on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and of the Direction General for Development Cooperation, for short, DGCS. Africa. The Institute has set up many rural development projects in Africa, from the struggle against desert encroachment to improving crop production. It has often worked jointly with local research centers, providing support in the form of staff training, update refresher courses for their scientists and improving their research equipment. Tanzania, 1979-1986, Cashew Nut Emergency. In the second half of the 1970s, there was a dramatic fall in Tanzania's cashew nut production, a major source of income for the population of the poorer part of the country. The Italian cooperation gave the IAO the task of discovering the reasons for this and find a remedy for it. The excellence of the achievement to convince the authorities in Tanzania to launch a nationwide program of rehabilitation and phytosanitary protection of cashew plantations, which raised the annual production from 16,000 to 100,000 tons. Tunisia, 1985-1988.
rural development and struggle against desert encroachment. The oasis in Tunisian Nefzeua were in danger of being abandoned because of the low income of its people and also because of the desert sand encroachment. The project began with the construction of a research center complete with laboratories, library and logistic support which has helped to improve the standard of life of some 8,500 families who farm on the 53 oasis. Cape Verde, 1985-1988, support to fruit growing. About the same time, a project was launched to develop fruit growing. In order to increase the availability of fruit and to reduce the Cape Verde Islands dependency on imported produce, three covered nurseries with shade netting were set up, which can produce yearly over 50,000 plants of excellent fruit variety. Algeria, 1992-2008, applied research projects. Durum with improvement, 1992, 2002, Integrated Management System of Agricultural and Rural Information, 2005-2008. Congo, former Zayur, 1990-1997, Selection of Pluvial Rice. The Institute was also actively involved in Congo in the selection and maintenance of the purity of the local varieties of rice and trials with new varieties of pluvial rice to be introduced there. The research station in Kinshasa and two substations were strengthened with laboratory equipment and farming tools, enabling them to launch an extensive program of selection of native plants and to introduce new improved strains. Senegal, 1999-2002 Integrated Rural Development Program, PRIMOCA. Angola, 2001-2006, Refugee Emergency. In Angola, instead, the task was humanitarian, to enable groups of refugee families made homeless by the civil war to recover their capacity to satisfy their primary needs. The program involved some 2,500 families, and with their participation, led to the construction of the schools, dispensaries, and the hygiene and health infrastructures needed to improve their standard of living. Libya, 2000-2009, resumption of cooperation after 60 years. After a break of more than 60 years, the Institute is also back in Libya, creating two new applied research and experimentation centers. 5,000 small farmers have benefited from support provided by the Applied Research Center in the Shabia of Sirti, in identifying techniques for producing fodder and the successive transformation of milk. The objective of the other center, set up in the Shabi of El Badnan, is instead to improve the capacity for agricultural research and experimentation. Zahili in Africa, 2007-2010, struggle against desertification to curtail poverty in the Sahel. Latin America, at the end of the 80s, after the post-war activity provided in support of Italian immigration to Latin America, the Institute is back in Argentina, where it began a series of projects for the transferring of Italian technology and know-how as a means of strengthening research centers and production chains. Argentina, five foreign ministry projects for contributing to agricultural development improving fruit growing in Rio Negro and Nikon, transfer of technology in cereal production, 1987-1990. Three pilot projects were set up in the vicinity of Córdoba, Santa Fe and Buenos Aires for drying, storing and milling cereals using advanced technology, contributing to the development of post-harvest processing, safeguarding the biodiversity and conservation of plant germplasm in Argentina, 1988-1993. A national bank was set up in 1988 for the conservation of plant germplasm, a center for the long-term conservation of biological material near Buenos Aires, and eight peripheral stations in the mine agroecological areas of the country have been strengthened. Development and improvement of vegetable growing. 1988-1993. Cultivation of aromatic plants in the province of La Rioja, 1989-1992. Bolivia, 1990-1993. Production and diffusion of improved seeds. 
production and diffusion of improved variety seeds of maize, wheat and beans and their distribution among small farmers. 20 years since its start, this project still continue to multiply and spread at regulated prices the improved seeds selected by the Pyronami Research Center, thus making them available to thousands of Bolivian small farmers. Guatemala 2004-2008 Microcredit A microcredit project has been launched in Guatemala to develop the agriculture sector and diversify production in the region of Quinche. Conditions for gaining access to credit were eased for farmers' organizations and small loans were granted to over 1,000 applicants, 68% of which were women. Technical assistance, training and credit were made available to thousands. Central America 2007-2009 Improvement of coffee production and marketing In more recent times, the Institute has carried out programs in Guatemala, Nicaragua, Salvador, Honduras, Costa Rica and the Dominican Republic for the improvement and dissemination of coffee production techniques and marketing. The project involves some 3,450 small farmers organized in associations and was co-founded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, DGCS, together with the Common Fund for Commodities, the International Coffee Organization, the Slow Food Foundation and the UCLDEP. Brazil 2005-2009 Biodiversity Safeguarding Program in Amazonia Middle and Far East, in accordance with the orientation of Italian cooperation policy in the late 90s, the Institute began focusing its activity also in country in the Middle and Far East. Turkey, 1997-1999, development of popular plantations in Central and Southeastern Anatolia. Sichuan, 2001-2009, strengthening a fruit trees production center. Palestine, 2007-2010, improvement of olive oil production. A project is underway in Palestinian territories to increase the production of olive oil and improve its quality. Training for the technicians and institutional reinforcement of the production chain were the strong points of this project, which gave on-seat training to 457 olive growers, some laboratory technicians and olive mill managers. Pakistan 2007-2009 Improvement of production and trade olive oil. A similar project is underway in Pakistan to promote the production and trade in olive oil. Digital maps of the most suitable areas for olive cultivation are being prepared and training courses for olive growers and local technical staff are being held. Training and the Training Center Alongside its cooperation projects, the Institute has always provided training in tropical agriculture. This has been adapted over time to suit the changes in teaching methods. With its meeting rooms, classrooms and cafeteria, the training center can accommodate up to 50 students. In 1975, specialist courses in tropical agriculture were replaced by a new series of postgraduate courses in aerial photograms and photograph interpretation for managing agricultural and natural resources. In 2006, the courses in geomatics and natural resources evaluation, now in its 30th year, was supplemented by a top-level postgraduate training course in irrigation techniques. These two courses are funded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and have a duration of eight months. They are mainly aimed at students from abroad, Africa and Central and South America in particular. They are, however, also open to Western students. Scholarships funded by the Direction General for Cooperation and Development are available to foreign students. Over the years, 380 students have been trained in geomatics and about 40 ones in water collections and irrigation techniques. The International Information Journal. The Institute regularly publishes scientific results and technical information on tropical agriculture on its journal, established by its founder Bartolomé Jolie in 1907, which is now called Journal of Agriculture and Environment for International Development. The Tropical Garden. 
IAO headquarters is located in one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Florence. It has its own garden, greenhouses, and a collection of some 300 species of tropical and subtropical plants. A small rose garden with a few rare varieties completes the tropical garden. The collections. There is a photograph collection that comprises over 70,000 photographic prints and 10,000 slides and plates on tropical and subtropical. The photographic material collected by institute technicians during their missions abroad is a unique tableau of great historic interest witnessing the institute's long-standing activity. The institute also possesses an entomological collection, a tropical agriculture museum and a collection of some 2,500 general and theme-based maps divided by area and nation. Their library and the unpublished documentation center. Lastly, the Institute has a library of over 20,000 technical and scientific works on tropical and subtropical countries, publications for 10,000 volumes, as well as unpublished documents in 4,570 folders on the colonies and Italian immigration. Istituto Agronomico per l'Oltremare, IAO.